Dang it, dang it, dang it. <laughs> if your legs don't have a little jiggle in them, a wobble wobble like you bought the fall did you really have a good workout took the rugs down and all that to put them in the washer but you can ask me did i fold them absolutely not they're still downstairs in the hamper i actually love and enjoy is that a kid or is that a seagull oh those are kids or did he steal the bike that was very dangerous and reckless of me to eat this peanut butter without anything to drink but i did it back arms the highest i can lift i, I can't really touch my back <sighs> Welcome to or welcome back to the channel. My name is Jazz. I create lifestyle videos and I show you guys products that I use in my everyday life. Today we're going with a little reset of course and with me resetting I gotta get the groceries right, the foods right, meals, all that stuff and then just everything else around the house. But to get kicked off I have a new product that I'm gonna try. I'm really excited about this. Here's the lid. I went shopping last night and I thought about it. I got a few things. I have to get this one a try. This is the first time I've seen this one, Philadelphia. I was waiting for them because everyone else had sour cream and all that, but I haven't seen cream cheese. This better taste good. I hope it does. I just recorded a little bit than I thought about. It. I was like, you know what? I want to actually record like a little mini haul and go get more stuff and more healthier foods, but I felt like I had to just show you this to try this. I've been struggling if you guys follow me to find some good plant-based cream cheese. There's some that taste really good and then they also affect my stomach bad that claim to be lactose free. So plant-based is very hard for the taste that I like. So I'm trying a little piece to see if maybe we found the right product finally. And I'm hoping because a lot of times when you get like brand names, if you know what I mean, popular brand names, that their products when they make dairy free ones, it tastes really good. We'll see if this is the case. God. I finally found a good one. Oh yeah, I'm putting this on. Now, the only thing is, I'll see how this affects my stomach later. I'm not faking because dairy-free cream cheese is the hardest one to find. I've been struggling for years to figure out what cream cheese to use. I even tried the hack where using the dairy-free sour cream as cream cheese. This is crazy. Now, my only thing is, I hopefully my stomach doesn't cramp up later. I don't think it will because this one uses coconut oil, potato starch, that's probably why. Faba bean protein, is that how you say that? I never heard of that one. I have to look that up. And other stuff that, you know, I normally seen. I think this is going to do good. And if this is the case, I am sticking with this. I got to update the guys on my story because I did put this on Instagram and I told them I was going to let them know how it is. Oh my God, this is so exciting. Now I can actually try this in foods and recipes and everything. It might not be the healthiest of options, but I've been wanting a bagel with cream cheese for the longest. I haven't been able to eat this for the longest. I don't know how long. Even then, I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of, no, I'll do butter. I was about to do everything bagel seasoning. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Well, I got my bagel. Let me go update the Instagram story and we'll head to the store and I'll see you guys when we get whatever we get because I gotta go get some fruits and stuff because I've been slacking that fridge. I'm out of fruits and vegetables. I'm about to turn this bad boy into a sandwich real quick. Mm-hmm. Bone apple teeth. Oh, 
Okay, so I'm finally home. Just showing you something real fast that I got. It took me a little minute because I was kind of tired to take a break. But just a little bit of stuff because I got to run back out and get more things. I just got bananas, strawberries, pineapples for our juicing, and some Zyrtec because you guys know in Virginia. This is a necessity. In Costco, honestly, this lasts me probably about three months. And then sometimes I can even double up. So this is actually a really good deal. And then some stuff that I got, you know, from my family as well. My mom likes apple jacks we got some grits for her we got celery because she's gonna be juicing that's why I got the pineapples like I said they were kind of leaky so I don't really want to pull those out but then I got my blueberries I don't want to get the counters wet blueberries we got her milk what else is in here just a little bit of hand soap that we'll need regular hand soap some wipes to go upstairs you guys know these are a necessity and then I got some gator like I don't drink this as much but every so often I think I need that and I got one for my nephew in case he drinks it we got some bags that we'll put to the side and then also bleach for cleaning and our clothes and stuff and then I got lettuce from Food Lion because their lettuce is the best so when we make salads and stuff so really I it seems like I almost got nothing but I have to go back and get like the pineapple I mean not the pineapples the lemons and oranges some ginger because I want to make some more juice because I haven't been doing that hopefully my head's not looking too crazy because I was laying down oh let me use that other hand actually is that better I don't know that thing just irritates me having it on I had to put it back on for a bit but yeah I gotta go I haven't been able to find the sausage so I have to go back for that I got a couple of the yogurt you guys saw from the breakfast that I made. Um, I'm missing, like I said, lemons, oranges, ginger. I need cucumbers and that ground turkey sausage so I can meal prep some stuff. And then I feel like I have more on the list, like ground turkey and other stuff. So maybe if I get more, I'll show you. Or if I go back out to the store, because I feel like I'm kind of going blank, but I know I have the list on my phone. So I'll catch you guys in the next clip. What's up, y'all? Can you see me clear? It's the next day. Hopefully, you're not too close. I'm in a different car trying to use my tripod, and I don't know where to hold my stuff at. But, yeah, I'm at the store right now to get the rest of the stuff we needed. My energy has been super low, being completely transparent. I wasn't going to film. I had a lot going on. I was working pretty much all day today, and I needed to get out and get some air. And I realized I've been eating Doritos like crazy. And I noticed a lot of stuff. Energy drinks, Doritos, that stuff is not good for me. And the foods that I'm not supposed to be eating, I'm supposed to be going back clean. I ate almost a whole bag and a half of Doritos myself. like, And not just like a little snack bag. I'm talking about like a big bag. Because I made nachos. But I feel like I notice a difference when I eat those uh, foods. I don't know if it's like the red dye, like they say. If that's what I'm feeling or what that does. But I know I want to stay away from that stuff in the process. Because it definitely had the red dye in it, of course. But, um... I'm pretty sure there's like a lot of stuff I eat with it in it, but you know, I'm just trying to avoid it as much as possible. I'm being completely transparent and I've been tearing them things up. My stomach jacked up. I tried to drink ginger ale to help it. And I know that's not what I should be doing. And I had a pop tart last night. So I got to get myself back right. You saw the little bit of stuff I made. So I need to finish making the juice. All I'm missing, I need to get my milk because there's a specific kind of milk that I drink and I can't find it anywhere. I got to get that. I got to get some cucumbers orange lemon oh, i didn't even write that on the list lemon and orange and ginger i need more of that to juice and yogurt what the heck else did i have on my list that's pretty much it to, just the stuff to make the juice to get myself back on track i've been debating on if i wanted to go to the gym if i wanted to work what i wanted to do and since i can't think and make up my mind this is a part of the you know the reset and stuff this is why i included this in the vlog Hopefully later, I'm probably going to look back at this like, girl, what were you talking about? I'm trying to make sense of everything. Bottom line is, I got to make my green drink to get my mental back right and my body back right and my health because this is not how I operate. I've been eating bad food. So let's get that and then we can get into more of the reset, you know, self-care, all that good stuff that you guys actually love and enjoy. Is that a kid or is that a seagull? Oh, those are kids. That's messed up. They left, the boy was riding on the bike and he left his sisters. If that's his sisters and they screaming and screaming. Or did he steal the bike? That's messed up. And he come back laughing. Let me get up in this door so I can get out of here. These kids, man. Look at him. Look at the bad little kids. 
Well, you guys wouldn't believe they were actually out of everything that I needed. So now I'm gonna head to Aldi who has my back, but I'm struggling to find my milk because nobody anywhere has this milk. All right, y'all, so I just now left Aldi. They had a lot. Only thing they didn't have is my kale, and I think I want a combination of spinach and kale. So I'm gonna head over there and go to Food Lion real fast. And there is so much traffic today. Today's a Sunday. Is there like a holiday or something? But what's the deal? Is this school closed the next day? I don't know what it is, but there's a whole lot of traffic. I mean, honestly, there's, sorry, y'all, this thing. There's a whole lot of traffic normally here, but this is like, different level traffic like at this time of day on a sunday so i don't know what that is but hopefully me going to these stores is giving it time to you know kill the traffic and then on top of that nobody's in the stores at this time of night so that's great but hopefully they have my kale in here when i go in so we'll see when we get inside yeah i will never guess who i just ran into in the store first off they didn't have my milk here either so i had to get my secondary replacement milk which you know what i'm just gonna have to make do with that and then they had kale so i got that and i got me a yogurt because I didn't get it from the other stores, but I ran into Mr. Mayor. I like calling him Mr. Mayor. If you guys don't know barbecue, my barbecue man, um, he's the mayor of Dumfries and he has a whole lot of other long list of credentials, but we personally know him as being our previous neighbor from like a while ago. A long time ago, he used to be one of our neighbors, but we, we were all still like really close and stuff. He does a lot for the community, which is good. Got some exciting things coming up and I haven't been to that park yet. He was a part of that too, building like this outside fitness area. I still have to go take a trip over there and see how it looks, you know, give my little, my little workout and stuff outside. Once the weather gets warm, because I think it opened kind of when it started getting cold or when the season was changing. So I really didn't get a chance to use that that much, but hopefully I can, but yeah got some very exciting and interesting things coming up soon so that's pretty cool but for now i think the traffic kind of did no it didn't die down i'm looking at it i'm gonna put my music on head home and make my juice and then i'll get back with you guys when i actually get home because i feel like i'm about to be sitting in this for a little bit so i'll get you guys in the next clip Next day, I'm on my way to the gym. I got me a pre-workout, which is, it looks like a little peanut butter ball bomb, but it's just peanut butter, spoon, tablespoon of peanut butter. I just stopped that food line to get me a Celsius. That was very dangerous and reckless of me to eat this peanut butter without anything to drink, but I did it. And yeah, I felt a whole lot better this morning. I don't know if you can tell. I got good sleep. I went to bed. Well, I thought I went to bed early and I still ended up being on my phone watching vlogs and stuff like that. So I still went to bed close to like one something, almost two. But I woke up feeling more energized. My mind feels more clear. And you remember that like short I posted when it's like a break fast, you're breaking the fast in the morning. So all the food you ate last night kind of gets a chance to, you know, get out of your system. You're having a fast again. So when you wake up the next day, try to eat good so that your body can thank you later. So right now, as of now, I have all the energy. I felt great. Only thing I feel like my stomach is like blue. I just feel something off, but I know that's just because of, oh, excuse me. That's just because of all the food that I've been eating. So I know if I continue to eat clean, it's gonna feel better. So now that I have that energy, I feel good. I can go to the gym, get a little workout in. Cause yesterday my eye was not clear at all. And I think that was just for me working and stuff like that. But I feel good now. So we're gonna get a little bit in. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna record because it's kind of hard doing it yourself and then sometimes you just want to get like a really good workout in and that's kind of what I'm trying to do so I'll see you guys when we head to the gym get a little bit of like chest more upper body and stuff like that and yeah if I decide to show I show if not you know we're going to continue on with this reset because a lot of times I know you're trying to show things for the camera like how you reset and do all that stuff but a lot of times you still have to do it for yourself so me telling you it's a good idea for you to get out there and go to the gym or do a home workout so you guys can get it in if your legs don't have a little jiggle in them 
when you walk. And I'm not talking about the fat jiggle jiggle. I'm talking about a wobble wobble. Like you bought the fall. Did you really have a good workout? Cause I, I definitely did. Jesus Christ, that felt great. I didn't show you guys because it was kind of not packed, but you know, I just didn't feel like recording. It was good stuff. Or I feel like I do better workouts when I'm not recording, but you know how that goes. And that felt like a great workout because last night I'm about to go home and probably eat some of that food. My mom cooked some food last night. I haven't been eating full meals, but this meal I ate. She done put bunions and funions and all types of stuff in that food. It tastes so good. But luckily, it was pretty healthy besides the macaroni. I'm not going to have macaroni today. I did sneak a little yesterday. But actually, I need to go home and make my juice. So I'll make my green drink and then we'll make some food. I got to prep all that fruit and stuff. So let's head home and do that and put this AC on. Because why is the dog on heat on right now when I'm hot as I don't know what. All right, be back. Cucumber, lemon, and spinach kale. Whew, couldn't get that out. Oh, this is more ginger. I only cut enough specific for the juice. Oh, 
watching me like this is an entertaining show. <laughs> oh shoot. <laughs> There's actually a process to this because it's, I don't like pulp, but I also have to do this one and then I go in with a smaller strainer to really get no pulp. This green juice kind of stinks though, I'm not going to lie. Look, I need magic to the You smell the kale and stuff in it. That's just the green part. Now we're cooking some greens. That's what it smells like. It smells good to me. I think the greens are good. Oh, check out oh, I gotta watch. This might be the new one. Walking. Walk in two jars. Now I just gotta drink them. Really, I wanna put it in the fridge so it can get nice and warm. And be done. Finally finished. Now I can go make me something to eat. I actually want coffee. Although I had Celsius, I didn't finish it. So I think I have room for me to make a coffee because it smells so good. You guys see me make coffee like a thousand times, but these taste way better in the fridge. So I'm gonna pop these in and have this for a little drink later. What's up y'all, it's another day. I'm here to share with you a realistic week in my life. Now I know I started this vlog off trying to do like a month reset. But being honest, I didn't do anything that I normally would do in a reset, but I felt like this is just what needed to be done. So I feel like showing you guys the real raw because a lot of the stuff that I talk about and go through, I know a lot of people can relate and that's why I've been doing a lot of this. So the beginning of this week, I know I started off with like very good intentions, but things just didn't get done. And sometimes that's just what happens in life. So I'm gonna kind of get ready as I talk to you. But honestly, you know, I started off like this vlog, I was gonna do some cleaning and all that stuff. I had lists of things done to get done but it didn't quite happen that way so I had the idea I guess to clean my bathroom on camera do some cleaning motivation over a week now hasn't been done now this is not saying like I'm being dirty and not cleaning up I do my daily cleaning and wipe downs and stuff but it's just sometimes you want to do like a deep cleaning and I've been holding it off because I want to show it on camera get good angles and stuff and I still haven't done that yet I started off doing the laundry like I took the towels down I put the um took the rugs down and all that to put them in the washer now I did wash and dry them but in the, along with my other clothes but you can ask me did I fold them absolutely not they're still downstairs in the hamper but that's okay sometimes that happens you have to do things to your timeline on what basically just needs to get done for that week you honestly never know what's going to happen on that week you just have to kind of roll with the flow to be honest that's just what I do now for me this week for some reason my brain just would not function I could not get anything done I don't know what was going on what was wrong with me that's why I said I had to reset and get my body back right and normally for me that's like eating certain foods and going to the gym exercising and all that which completely honest I haven't been doing after that last time I went that was the last time I went and I know that's not good because there was like a lot of things going on and then I know during like whatever you're doing working in daily life you still kind of have to make sure you're staying on top of things and you can still have fine time to exercise or get small little workouts in and that's why I would do like abs or something at home where I was supposed to but honestly that did not get done so I, I don't want to give you guys this like perfect image like everything is perfect that we do in these vlogs and you know this is how you do a reset for the month and do this and that that's on that I'm not gonna say that never happens but you can do that or say that's the ideal thing you want to do like daily in your reset but every day <sighs> no that's not happening so for me I'm like a big planner and I kind of plan my days out write everything now and sometimes it doesn't go according to your plan like you kind of just gotta roll with it and really that's kind of what I've been doing now I don't know if you guys are like me but I'm like a super big planner and I feel like I have to do that just to get my day and week started to know what I'm supposed to be doing and with this going on sometimes things don't go, they don't go according to your plan and for me since I'm a big planner I work a lot and all that I, I did not know how to relax I talked about this before 
I had no idea how to relax and now that's what I learned to do with some of these resets is not getting anything done anything not crossing anything off your list at that or even if it's just one thing off your list and relaxing a lot of times that's what I need to do give myself like this little mental break that's needed so I can come back stronger and better and that's kind of what I've been doing like even today I'm gonna work a little bit and then I'm gonna head over to my sister's house to have fun and help her do some stuff that she's got going on you know do some videos and stuff like that so you guys can stay tuned for those things but sometimes that's what you need to just take a break reset and get you back right to shift your focus because that's definitely what I have to do and even though like I have so much stuff to do at least I got one thing done you know I went to the gym and got that out of the way I didn't even record it your girl is sore if I have not said it back arms the highest I can lift I, I can't really touch my back <sighs> And you haven't seen me try to stand up because it's a sight to see and me trying to get up those steps. But like I said, I had to find ways to kind of just relax and shift my focus. Even though I have a lot to do, you kind of have to take that little break, speaking for myself personally, to be able to relax your mind and things like that. And if you already have a plan, just relax yourself for a second. So that's why I say sometimes that's what I have to do to give myself a little break, hang out with the family, do something, go out, get some fresh air or something, even go into the gym. So even though I have a lot to do and in the midst of whatever chaos you have during the week, just taking that little 20, 30 minutes, an hour, whatever. That's an hour less of stress, by the way. But taking that little bit of time to reset, refocus, and then by the time you, you know, enjoy yourself, you're nice and relaxed, and then you can go out and do what you have to do, and you feel just better doing it. You already have a plan. You just need to relax and not be so tense while you're getting things done. So that's what I could say happened to me. But you can comment below if that works for you. But I keep talking and not doing what I need to do. I need to go make some returns. I still haven't returned the gloss, so I'm gonna do that today as well. Um, I haven't tried on the fit for these glasses, but I think I'm still going to keep them anyways, and we'll see. I have no idea where my lip gloss is, but yeah, I can say things, like I said, doing these resets and all that definitely help. And you remember I talked about being more, not intentional, but just sharing more. And you guys remember the last vlogs, a lot of creators and us were talking about how the things are with views and numbers and stuff like that. Just crazy that little moment ago, a week later, February is a whole new month and things are changing already for the better. So that's why I'm like, it's like these seasonal things. And sometimes you got to find motivation during those times. And that's kind of what's like going on now, if you get what I'm saying. So sometimes just take that little break, get yourself back together and you'll be back better than ever and like I have to run out because I didn't even return this to the store like I said I was supposed to bring this back from Amazon because I really want to use this liner but this color is just it's just not it but anyways I gotta run out to the store and like I said I'm gonna head to my sister's house and I'm gonna end this vlog here you guys can comment below if you guys this actually helped you or if it not or if you guys kind of got like your own personal like experience or something you want to share you can comment that down below and make sure you subscribe to the channel turn on that post notification bell so you get an alert when I drop a video because I noticed more people there are new viewers and there are returning viewers or subscribe however you want to say so that means you guys didn't subscribe and I think you should because it's free and you like what you see already but yeah make sure you guys subscribe and also you guys can follow me like on Instagram TikTok and all that stuff and see other content but then make sure you come back to YouTube and catch more of these videos but that's gonna wrap up for now and I will catch you guys in the next video Jam, 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 jam Send it like you're racing and restoring